good to see you. Thanks for stopping by and checking the video out. Really do appreciate it. Um, just want to kind of take a step backwards here and look at the, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the minor pentatonic scale, which we all know one form of it or another, and we probably 89% of us only know the one that I just started with, and, and that's just a kind of traditional position one minor pentatonic scale. Right, you start up here, you go back up the scale. Now, key of A minor, I mean, obviously you can do this in any key you like, but um, for, for arbitrary reasons, you know, I just kind of like an A minor because it gives me this whole area of the fretboard, and it, it gives me another area to play in the same notes, which also happens to be position five of the minor pentatonic scale. Uh, some of you might know, and if you don't know, what we have here is, that's position one of the minor pentatonic scale. But there's also four other positions using those same notes, but just rearranged a little bit differently. Not scrambled up, but just a different starting point. Uh, think of a, a number line, or think of the alphabet. I mean, just for argument's sake, let's think of a number line um, from one to seven. Just gonna throw that out there. Okay, if we're starting on the number one, okay, and you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you come back around and you start on one again. But the other positions of the box, of the, of the minor pentatonic scale, give you boxes basically where you can start, say, on the number two or the number three or number four. I'm just throwing these numbers out there. They don't really coincide with the intervals. I'm just throwing that out there. And you're playing the same notes, but you're just playing them in a different position, a different, different pattern basically, and different tonal qualities will start to come out, right? So again, let's look at the pos uh, position one here, right? <laughs> kind of know that scale. I mean, you can play it anywhere you want. So what you have here is you've got your one, you've got your flat third, you've got your fourth, you've got your fifth, you have a flat seventh here, and then you're back at the root. So five notes. And there's your, 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 um, your octave right there, okay? So if we're going to give these, now, Typically, I like to kind of just teach them in terms of intervals so you can play it anywhere. You're not getting too hung up on the, on the names. But let's just give these, let's go over the notes itself. So you got an A, a C, a D, an E. You've got your G. And we're back at the root, the A. All right. Uh, one of the reasons I like using the key of A for A minor pentatonic, um, which is also obviously where it's C major uh, for both of those, you're not worrying about sharps or flats. They're all, again, A, C, D, E, G, and you're rooting it, okay? Now, we could take that same, let's make this up two, two different ways here. We go A to the C, which is also a flat third. Well, if I know this is my root, I can go A, and there's a C there. So A, C, or A, C, okay? I have my D here, which happens to coincide with, with two different positions here. Um, I have my E, but I have an E here. Okay, there's my G again. And then I'm back to either the root here or here. So it's a lot to unpack there if I'm all over the place. But keep this in mind. You've got five positions for the minor pentatonic scale. We already know the first one. Well, if you look at the fifth fret here, position five actually overlaps with position one. It's like a dovetail joint. That's how all these boxes kind of work together. So here's one. And you can hear that the tonal differences, but it's the same notes. It's just where I'm starting and stopping. This is position five. So position five overlaps the, every note on the fifth fret is used and position one uses it, position five uses it. And if we were to look at, if you're looking at the fretboard from this point of view, you've got position one, two, three, four, and I bring five back up this way. I mean, you can play five up here, but you bring it up here, and again, that's why I use A minor a lot, because it's right in the middle of the neck, the fretboard, and I can go here for a full full scale, basically, on either side. Now, I'm not gonna get into all the other boxes right now, but what I'm trying, trying to show you here is that you've got this one position right here, the one we always know, and the fifth right next to each, overlapping the fifth fret. So, so if I want to kind of just, number one, let's learn the position five. All it is is 
two, uh, if we're going to be in, in this position here, three, five, three, five, two, five, two, five, three, five, three, five. And you can hear because you're landing on the, the the fifth of that basically. Um, but I can bring it back down to the root. And then once you kind of get that that position feel comfortable with, you can then go from either one of these, just kind of going from one to the other, back and forth, which now gives you from the second fret to the eighth fret all of a sudden, and all you're doing is playing five notes. So. All I did there was I took the same notes, the, the, again, the one, the flat third, the four, the five, the flat seven, right? And I'm doing the same thing here. The one, the flat third, the four, the five, and the flat seven right there, okay? All right, and just by doing that, you've got two different positions you can work with, but they're the same scale. Again, position one and position five of the minor pentatonic scale. And as we go along, I can show you more about these. You know, I'll kind of slowly show you other ones. Whereas when you know all of them. Same scale, you're just rearranging a little bit. You're not mixing it up like you know, pulling numbers out of a hat. Okay, here's the A. You know, okay, now the D. Now the C. No, you're you're staying in the same order, but it's just where your starting point is. Okay, think of the alphabet. Our alphabet typically, you know, we're used to saying starts on A. Musical alphabet will start on C, but let's just for argument's sake, letter A. We go all the way through to Z, and then you come back around to the A. Well, if you start on the C, you do the same thing. You're going through the same. Um, order of letters, and then when you get to Z, you come back around to the A, and you're back to your starting point. So it just takes some time to wrap your head around that a little bit, because I know it did for me, and then once I was able to, all of a sudden, everything opened up. So keep that in mind. Cool little exercise to do. And again, it's it just a starting point, and then from there, you go into position two, position three, position four, and you're back to five. Again, keep in mind, think of the octaves. You know, everything um, here, if you add 12 to it, it's the same thing here. So just, 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 you know, it's just a numbers game. It's just kind of knowing where everything is and muscle memory. So once you can start placing certain things and where they belong, it becomes a lot easier. So um, give me, a, you know, let me know if you have any questions, concerns. I do do, um, you know, lessons online, one on one. So I got a couple more slots available if anybody has an interest. But you know, take a look at this. It's a good way to start and just kind of get a feel for other parts of the fretboard. All right. Thanks.